Now I'm going to add some lettering on here. I'm going to add my name. You can add your name. You can add whatever you want that's school appropriate, of course. You can put a little design if you wanted to. But I'm going to use the text tool to add my name right here. So I'm going to hit Start Sketch. I'm going to tell it where I want to draw. So I'm going to click on this face right here. And right here in the Create, I have this text tool. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to click on it here. I'm just going to type my name. When I hit OK, that's pretty small. So we're going to make some changes to that. So if I just double click, I get this text box back up. So let's make this, now my whole thing is 10 millimeters, so let's make this uh, 7 millimeters. Let's see what 7 looks like. I'm sorry, the whole thing's 20, so let's make it uh, 15. So highlight my text. I don't want 7, I want 15. Hit enter. Um, it looks good. I've got a little border around it. And you notice that's not all going to fit right here. So again, I double click on it. Right here is my stretch. So if my word goes over the edge, I don't want it to be 100%. I want to tighten this all down a little bit. So let's make it 50%. What that's going to do is it's going to take it and it's going to kind of squish it to 50%. It's probably going to be too much, but now I see that it took it and made it 50%. It's too much, so let's go 75. OK. I know it's pretty good. Now your name obviously might be different than mine. So play around with it to make it fit nicely. If I want to move it, moving is kind of tricky in Inventor. Um, same with rotate. Here, I'll cover rotate first just in case yours is messed up. If, for example, you didn't change this view, your word might be going 90 degrees. So what you can do is hit the rotate button. You have to do two steps. So first you have to select what you want. So I'm going to click my text. Then it has what's called the center point. This is what everything is going to rotate around. So I'm going to hit click on that. I'm just going to click on the top corner of my box here. Now I can move this around however I need to. I can type in exact numbers right here. I can say type in 45 degrees or 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees, and then hit done. If I want to move it, click on move. Same thing, it's a two-step process. First you select what you want to move, then I have this base point. So in Inventor it doesn't really make too much sense. You'd think just the move would work, but you have to click on this base point, click on a point on our text box, and now I can move this around if I need to. So, then hit done where you like it. And I'm going to finish my sketch. So now, again, if I were to print this, it would still look just like a rectangle because this text right here is perfectly flat on here. It's still two-dimensional on the top there, so I need to make it three-dimensional. So I'm going to use the extrude button. I'm going to click on my text. I can do a couple things here. I can raise it up. So let's say I want to bring it up two millimeters. So that looks kind of nice. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, if you were going to do it that way, you could then even come over here, add some fillets. You can kind of click on these shapes right here to add some rounded parts to it. That'll give it some of that three-dimensional look. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to extrude it downward. I'm going to cut into it. 
So I'm going to use my extrude. I'm going to click on my shape, and instead of going up, I'm going to go down. I'm going to use this cut tool, and that's going to cut a hole into my keychain with my name. So this looks nice. I like it. However, if I were to print this out, guess what's going to happen to these pieces right here? They're not attached to anything, so they're just going to fall right through and not be attached to anything. A couple of ways we can get around that. One is I could, let's see, if we just put a little uh, rectangle or something right here. Just draw a rectangle on the side, and if I extrude that, so now I've got that little rectangle that goes through, and they're all attached to it. Well, that's kind of weird. I'm going to undo that. Another thing we can do is instead of extruding, oops, undo, instead of extruding my letters all the way through, if I extrude, I know my whole thing is seven millimeters. So if I only extrude it down to let's say five millimeters, then you can see I still have this two millimeter space on the bottom here. So let's do that. So now So now you can see that the bottom is still flat, and I've got all those letters down 5 millimeters. So all of these pieces are still connected. They'll still print out nicely. So this is nice. I can end here, or we could get a little fancier. Let's add a little angle right here, because this is nice and flat. But I want to make it look a little bit more interesting, so I'm going to start sketch, click on the side. Let's take a line tool. I'll find this midpoint over here where the circle turns green. I'm going to connect it to this corner. I don't care what the measurements are. I made three lines to make a triangle right there. Now I'm going to extrude and cut that off. cut all the way through. That just adds a little bit more interest to it. It's also going to make it easier to attach the key ring because this part is narrower now. Alright, so I could end there. Let's add some fillets and some chamfers. So what a fillet will do is it will take an edge and it will round it over. So if I click this edge, if I set it to two millimeters, Click that edge. Now what it is doing, it is rounding over this edge right here. That two millimeters is the radius. So if I were to draw a circle right here, this corner right here, that radius is two millimeters. So I can round these edges. Let's round these edges too. Hit apply. You can also do these ones. Two might be too much, so let's change that to half, 1.5. So that's going to round that edge right there. We can also round these edges. Hit apply. Uh, if I wanted, I could also come in here and round the edges of my letters. So fill it. make it whatever you want it to do. So a fillet is going to make that edge round. A chamfer is going to cut that edge at a 45 degree angle. So okay, so if we didn't want to fill it, let's go back a little bit. A chamfer, if I click on this edge, it's going to do it at a 45 degree angle and it's going to come in whatever this distance is. So, 
so there's my piece right here. Just chamfering those or filleting those edges again. So that is our piece. Let's go ahead and set it up for 3D printing. 